Okay, you guys, my heart is beating a thousand miles a minute because we keep getting these hummingbirds caught in our pole barn and they get up in the transom windowsill and they won't come out. So I had to climb all the way up there and this poor little guy was getting so tired. I could see him, he would stop and breathe hard. I know they can't live long without nectar. So he's gonna be quick, so he's probably gonna fly away. But he's in my hand. I'm gonna show you, okay? There he goes. There he goes, I thought he was dead. Oh my gosh. Bye-bye. Look at all the ladybugs. Heck, they're even on my, crawling on me now. The whole barn is covered in them. Look at all the specks. So, so far this year, we've had an invasion of dragonflies. We had a swarm of those. Then we had a swarm of stink bugs. And now we're having ladybugs. Now, from what I've been seeing, there's two different types of ladybugs. This is a standard ladybug. See, she's got her dots. I'm gonna see if I can focus in on her, but they've got the dots. Most of these all look like they have dots. There's a red one there that doesn't look like, doesn't look like it has dots. There's a Japanese beetle out. That's an invasive species that has been causing a ruckus here lately. But look at all the ladybugs. Every barn is like this. We're all trying to get inside. Crazy. You want to see the front of your shirt? Oh wow, concrete shirt. I already told Tony that shirt was going in the trash. So let's talk HVAC. Um, when I drew up the barn, I didn't really think about it. <laughs> and I don't know why. But I guess my plan was originally was that the HVA system would be out in the garage. Technically, I was hoping to put it on top of the, the work, uh, the utility room that we had built in there. I was gonna put it up on top. And then a trunk line would just run across, like this one right here, would just run across uh, the garage here and then as you can see like it's this one outlet pipe right here then the pipes would just shoot into the house under the floor joists because the floor joists are running this direction and the pipes would just go in and either uh, vent up or vent down depending on the room and where it was or it can go completely straight go all the way to the uh, main room and then just blow out in the main room what I quickly found out was that putting that HVAC system, the, the main blower unit, the, uh, uh, the heat pump system here, the, the detriment to putting it at the far end of the room was that this main trunk line then became very large closest to the system. As it gets away from the system, it progressively would get smaller, but over on this side, the ductwork would have been extremely large uh, according to the size of the house and, and things of that sort. So. Um, I came to a conclusion that we were going to put it here. Uh, the, the, the main blower unit is right here. 
uh, which is in the middle of the garage, right next to the door where we come out. And just like the other utility room, I'm going to build a little room around this one also. Uh, the room it will extend up and all of the ductwork itself will also be enclosed in a wooden box. Uh, the Amish are going to come back and we're going to have them put metal siding on this wall also and we'll just have them cover all this with metal siding so we won't be able to see it um, and it'll blend in with the garage. So that's the plan and it worked out fine. The cross trunks are a lot smaller. Uh, I wish they'd been a little bit higher. I wish they would have put them all up high, came out of the bottoms and went in rather than putting them low. As you can see, it's not much higher than my door. I wish they would, they would have put them up and then they would have came out and went under. Instead, they put them up, they came out of the top of them and went through. Maybe it's an HVAC thing, I don't know. So, but they do have the unit mounted outside on the pad. Show you a picture of that. And it's out there ready to go. Uh, I think they just need to tie into the electrical box that I ran out there for power. And they still gotta do the wiring. Oh, as you can see, the two wires hanging out right here. Uh, HVAC systems take a lot of wiring. It was three 220 uh, volt breakers and separate 220 wires going out to it. So that took up six slots on the, on the uh, breaker panel. So took a lot just for the HVAC. I would have never guessed that I would have figured it'd been one. Every house I can remember it was just one, but I guess my furnace was always a separate one. But yep, that's where we're at. And we'll talk about how the HVAC works in the house. So inside the house, as I stated earlier, the ductwork travels in between the floor joists. It's a nice big wide open gap space that's not insulated. So it flows through that space and it either turns up to go into the loft area or it turns down and blows out the quote unquote ceiling of the lower level. Also, we have spots where it continues straight and then just poke out the wall at the great room. There's four large vents in the great room for feeding HVAC and or heat. Uh, and then there's individuals in the laundry, the bathrooms, uh, uh, the uh, closet upstairs and things like that. So. The ductwork was pretty cut and dry how they routed it. It was neat and tidy, no exposed ductwork. So uh, that all worked out, which I, I wouldn't have minded exposed ductwork. We had actually talked about that at one time also. So also uh, one thing that you have to have with HVAC is it, when you put a system, you know, of course you've got the air that feeds cold air and hot air out into your room, but you also have to have what's called return air. Return air is, when, it, when you're pushing air into a room, you also have to pull that air back out. So however much air you put in, you gotta pull back out and take it back to the air conditioning unit, recycle that air, recondition it, filter it, yada, 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 and push it back out again. That return air, if you do not have that return air, you will cause a high amount of uh, moisture and condensation in a room and you'll end up molding your house. So. The return air is very important and where it's at is very important. And the key to this house having the extremely high ceilings is, is it had to be as high as possible. So as you can see here, we put the return air units in the ceiling in the great room. They were originally in it, were in a different spot. And when I went to put the pot lights in, it turned out that the air, the, the return air unit, uh, grid was right where a light had to be. So, uh, I moved it. I, uh, unscrewed the mount and moved it over to a spot that was conducive to, to the system. Uh, it's perfectly fine. It's, it's, it didn't change the flow or anything of that sort. As you can tell, they are quite large, but we have a lot of air going in. So I have to have a lot of air coming back out again. Uh, we do not have return air in the bedroom downstairs or the other rooms. So, uh, it will be important to also keep those doors open, not to keep those rooms closed off all the time so that uh, so it can draw the air back out through the doorway if we kept the doors closed all the time you could you had the possibility of causing condensation so we just keep the doors open we, we don't plan on it's it's not a we don't plan on having everything shut off you know you know extremely tight the bathrooms don't have to be done they also have exhaust fans uh, for ex, uh, for exhausting uh, condensation and air but as you can tell the HVAC was was uh, was kind of an afterthought. I, now that I look back on it, I would have uh, 
considered it and thought about it a little bit more than I did. But it worked out. Uh, they, they did a great job. All they have to do now is come back. They'll tie in the final electric on this, make sure everything's charged. They'll do a test run and they'll put the grills uh, on the wall. Um, uh, actually put the, uh, the vents on the walls. Uh, one of the things that kind of uh, confused us on it is that the sizes of the, the grills in the great room are two different sizes. There's two small ones and two large ones. And um, that just makes my OCD go nuts. So we'll probably end up putting the same size grill on all of them, even though the, the ones will kind of be uh, dummy grills. Uh, but uh, we'll just have to do that to, to keep my sanity <laughs> or I'll look at it all day long. <laughs> but uh, so that's basically the HVAC, nothing grand to it, but uh, it turned out well and we're hoping everything works out. So. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.